All right, welcome back. We have a, a big one today. Three games to hit NRFI, YRFI, whatever we can do. This is what we have here for you. We go two and two throughout that stretch, one and two on Saturday. So we're 23 and 12 on the year. All right, so let's look at what we have, right? We're going to ask you to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe. All right, so let's look at this here. Over a half, we're going to go two YRFIs, and then I'm going to give you an NRFI. Before we get out of here, we always give you one of each, right? But let's start in Chicago with the Cubs, where we are expecting a run here in the first inning, right? You look at the big picture for probably the pitching matchup is going to be one to exploit, I think, more so than not, especially from Chicago's standpoint. Shane McClanahan. It's not an easy out by any means. Kyle Hendricks, though, still trying to stretch out, still on that return. And I think that's where he's gettable. Yes, he's at home. And yes, it's tougher to attack a team at home than on the road. But McClanahan, I mean, look, it's not a bad walk rate at 9-7 compared to that 29K rate. But yeah, and every now and again, if you just get a little patient of it at bat up there at the top, you connect the right Cubs hitter to draw walks, Suzuki, maybe it's wisdom, depending on the lineup here. And then next thing you know, you've got a base runner, you've got a chance, and that's only against McClanahan. I actually love Tampa Bay going up against the bigger area here, which is Kyle Hendricks. Love that with Hendricks. All right, let's keep this moving. We're going to go another late game out west in Seattle. We saw a lot of runs. In this game last night, and I don't see any reason to think that we're at least not going to get a run in the first inning here. Look, every time you have the Yankees, and it doesn't mean it's going to hit 162 times by any means, but anytime you have a healthy Yankees lineup, you are live to have a solo shot in the first inning. You just are. Nestor Cortez comes in. He's fine. He's fine. Batting average actually is really good. And he's not giving up a ton of walks. Logan Gilbert, on the other hand, look, I mean, his K rate 29 to four to walks. And, you know, still with the bats that we'll see, especially on that New York side, this is only even money, only even money. And I don't think like it should be plus 110 or 120 or something like that. I think this is probably more of a fair reflection, which is even with, Cortez and that K rate, even with Logan Gilbert K to walk rate, you still have enough damage that can be done at the top of the Yankees lineup. We know and Seattle can sneak in here and at least hit for some contact. Probably we'll have two K's at the top half or bottom part of me half of this inning. But, but at the very least, we can go into this saying, all right, we're getting a good deal at this to go over a half run, especially with that Yankees lineup. NRFI play of the night. It's not going to happen in Oakland. Just not going to happen in Oakland. We have a chance in this game for the Oakland A's, and it's probably more so than not, to be blanked. Bryce Elder on the hill. Just serviceable. At best, probably. At best. Not striking many people out. He's not walking anybody. That's great. J.P. Sears is just trying to stay alive at this point, meaning like keep his team alive at this point. You don't have anybody that's going to really concern you outside of Tony Kemp from drawing a walk. Or sorry, from not striking out. I mean, I guess you can put Diaz in that category as well. But... You know, outside of three guys who you're holding your breath on to not strike out, because if they do, that ruins everything. Acuna. You're going to have a tough, tough part of that lineup up top. But as I laid out, the two things that we're pointing at here, Elder's low walk rate, J.P. Sears' low walk rate, and both of these guys just doing a decent to good job, decent and Elder, good to Sears in pitching to contact. It's fine with us. At minus 120. Okay, there you have it. We'll run it back for you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let me tell you what's going on in DraftKings. It's 21 or older. Gambling problem. Call 1-800-GAMBLER, as you know. For whatever reason, you're not on DraftKings. I don't get it. I don't understand. Just won some money playing some DFS stuff. Thanks to Ben Raza and our golf stuff. So you definitely want to be on there, even if you're not. For you know, I'm only on the other book. Well, who cares? Get on DraftKings. Sign up. And then... You can come here and hang out with us. Your first bet, 
you're going to get 150 bucks back no matter what. No matter what, five bucks doesn't matter. If it wins or loses, you're going to get that 150 back. Why are FI in Chicago for the Cubs? Why are FI for Seattle and NRFI for the Oakland A's game? As I've mentioned this many of times, plenty of times, you can play NRFI, YRFI. You can play a lot of this stuff on the Odd Chopper Premium tool. So just giving you a quick glimpse of how this tool works. Aaron Judge to hit a home run. Buddy, hit one last night. We, this is a smash right now as far as why you would play Aaron Judge hitting a home run. So, again, you can sort by whatever you like on here. I'm just bringing you behind the paywall. I'll give you a free week. You know, look, Aaron Gordon, NBA props are up right now. You love your homers. You do. You love your homers. Spencer, it's Dinger Tuesday, okay? It's Dinger Tuesday. Each of these three, any of these three are fine for your Dinger Tuesday, okay? Judge is fine. Belak, oh, no, pardon me, not Belak. Torkelson. So any of these two. Judge, there was a third one. That's why I said three, but that's fine. It was Melendez or Gallo. That's fine, too. So you've got Judge, Torkelson, Gallo, Melendez. All four of those are live for Home Run Dinger Tuesday here. In fact, this one's probably your best bet, despite it only being plus 250. Caesars has it at 205. I mean, come on, man. Torkelson at 680. Let's see where this This is insane. 680. If he, if he hits a home run, look, if he doesn't hit a home run, everybody loses. But if he does hit a home run, think about this. You've bet this on FanDuel at 680 versus 410, that low. I mean, think about that. $2.70 difference? No, 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 no. A 270 points difference if you want to look at it from that standpoint. Stop. Just stop doing this and use the tool. I'll give you the week free. And yes, you do have why. I bet you I can find a YRFI. I bet you. I bet you. It's probably one that we already played, right? Because I'm not an idiot. Because I look at the tool. And I make sure that we can find something. Look at this. I'm just going down and down and down. There's Eric Linquist's forehead here. Free week. Free week. Just to check it out below. There's a link. You can click it. You can see all the different bets that you can have on here. I'm on uh, Twitter at Shander Show. Happy to walk you through anything. Just want you to sign up and have some fun.